Hi, it's Kofi here. I recently got arrested close to the Kotoka International Airport. Can I know my offense? And my offense was simply because I was capturing planes that were coming into land within a restricted area. So we have something we call plane spotting. You going you gonna explain tire? And it's all about just being somewhere you can get a capture of planes that are coming into land or take off depend on where you are positioned. I currently have a 100 to 400 millimeter lens. So I was like, yeah, why not? I stood somewhere that I later came to learn it is a restricted area. It is close to the airport and I could get like a very clear view of, you know, the planes coming into land and whatnot. The arrest basically was a quick one. They came in a, in a, in a pickup truck and um, I think five strong men came to pick me up at where I was located and then sent me to the airport. I think one of the security um, teams, their office, the whole arrest was that they wanted to know what I was doing there. So I simply show them my social media and some of the content I post on there. If you've not seen them, you can check them on Coffee Photography on YouTube. Here you can find a link to the channel in the description. And I also post them on TikTok as well. The whole arrest was because I was standing in a restricted area and I'm going to come back to explain the restricted area and you know how it's kind of not something you can easily recognize. My interrogation was quick, didn't spend much time there. Interestingly, I had my passport with me, so that was also easier. I also have my Ghana card, so I could identify myself as I'm a Ghanaian <laughs> before they could get any ideas. One thing I remember before they let me go was that I think the officer that interrogated me was, I should go and sin no more. So go and sin no more. That was literally his last words to me. And the scene was that I was recording airplanes coming into land somewhere close to the airport, which I later come to learn it's a restricted area. I'm gonna show you on the map where I was standing. So from what I understand, and I've not read this anywhere, but from my understanding, there are different layers or different zones to the airport. Um, the immediate zone to the airport, as we have at the Kotoka International Airport, um, it's out of bounds. Nobody gets there. Like, it's walled. They have wire uh, mesh on top of the walls. It's a no, nobody goes there. But there is another zone after that. That's more like the second perimeter. Now, the second perimeter stretches all the way to the roadside opposite Action Chapel. So I think that's the Spinkters Road, opposite Action Chapel that side where the, they make crafts for chairs and, and baskets and stuff, those craftsmen where they are, there's a wall over there. Now that wall from my current understanding is where the second layer of the restricted zone begins. And so I was in the second zone, but closer to the first zone. And the whole arrest came up because I had gone earlier, I think I got there around two o'clock and you can find um, I, i'm going to show you on the screen where i was exactly when i got there initially immediately the sun was going west where i stood the sun was the opposite direction and trying to get a shot of the plane meant that the background is blown out i have to adjust the the manual settings to get the plane in focus trying to do all of that whilst you get trying to get a shot it wasn't smooth for me and so i decided to change positions now, where I stood initially, pretty much everybody could see me. And the interesting thing is, there isn't much to notice about the restricted area because there are people walking by, students passing by, workers go um, using that path, bikes, pedestrians, even cows grazing in, 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 in that area. There are some shelters over there to where people stay, people do farming in this area and so for someone like me i'm like well i see everybody around not much to think of as a restricted area and so in my mind i was along those lines on the on the road not going to the other side i think a lot of people came to pass saw me pilots came to pass in their different branded um, airlines you know um, when people closed they also saw me in their cars people who work at the airport, 
Um, I think there were security cars that came to pass, multiple of them. They all saw me with my camera, my tripod mounted, you know, recording planes coming in. None of them stopped to say anything. Like, everybody was just passing by. And to me, that was the reaction I expected because I wasn't anywhere that was in any way affecting the operation of the airport. Like, and everything around did not suggest that that place is restricted in any way. There are cows grazing, there are people passing by, cars, bicycles. It's, it's, it's a normal place to pass. And so I went along that line. There is a real track over there. So I went along the real line to the other side where I could now be standing west facing east so that when the planes are coming, the sunlight can get a better shot of the planes. And I was there for pretty much the entire time. But the arrest came about simply because one gentleman came to pass, saw me with a tripod and was like, what am I doing? I'm like, yeah, I'm, doing, I'm plane spotting. So recording planes that are coming to land. And he was like, yeah, I should pack and leave immediately. Like, but why? And so we couldn't even exchange words. He was like, ah, I'm calling in security to come pick you up. And, and I was like, wait, what? Now, that's where the arrest began. So he called in and strong men came, I think about 10 minutes later to come pick me up. There is nothing there to show that it's restricted area. Now, I am not saying the place is not a restricted area. What I'm saying is nothing showed it was a restricted area. The sign indicating restricted area was on the inner perimeter where they even have a security person on, they have, I think, different points with the wall and everything. Very clear to everybody passing by that, I'm not supposed to go there. But the other side, there's a train track. There is, uh, people are going to work and there's nothing to show that it's restricted. The first time I went to that area, I stood somewhere in a farm. So there's a nearby farm where when you stand there, you can pretty much like see the airport and everything. And that's where I got my shots from. I wanted to change my position and get the shots from a different angle. And so when I got there, I tried, you know, down there where I was from the east facing west and decided to change and come to the west side so that I can face. Now the place come in like this and so you can be on either side depending on the time of day. In the morning you want to be on that side, close to sunset you want to be on this side. Now the arrest charges was pretty much that I am in a restricted zone which implied everybody passing there or who are not workers at the airport are also trespassing. I was the only one who was picked up. Every, it's, it's a road people pass there all the time. So I was confused and tried to understand a little bit better. Now, was it me in a restricted zone taking videos and pictures of an airplane, that combination that makes it an offense, or just being there is the offense? Because if just being there is not an offense, but pointing a camera at an aeroplane is the offense, then the restricted zone-ness is kind of selective. So I, uh, the explanation wasn't clear to me at the point, and I think the, the bottom line explanation was that that place is a restricted zone. That is the explanation given to me. I shouldn't even be there to, in the first place, whether to pass by or to walk by, which is understandable. In this case, for people like me who are interested in plane spotting and finding somewhere nice to stand and, and take pictures and videos of airplanes, which is a hobby of many people around the world, it's not something I, uh, novel, it's the people, there are channels dedicated to 100% live streaming, airplanes landing in very busy airports and whatnot. It's, it happens. In this case, for creators like myself who are interested in capturing that, the question is where do we stand? The closer you get to the airport, the better you can get a shot. Now, the 
the Kotoka International Airport is positioned in such a way that there's not many places to stand to get an unobstructed view of airplanes coming into land. If you want to take a picture, it's not that difficult. But if you want to get a continuous video shot, it's relatively hard to find a spot for an ordinary person like myself to stand and get the video. If you work in maybe anywhere along the line of the airport in one of the towers or you live in some of the hotels over there with a long lens, you might get an amazing view. But if you want to be on the ground and be able to capture and, and do plane sporting, that is not very easy to do. Interestingly, the area surrounding the airport is also considered to be a security zone to the point that when the Antonov, the biggest um, airplane in the world, when it came to Ghana a few years ago, I even stood at the Alwak Stadium side to take a picture of the airplane. And I was like approached by military people that I can't take a picture of the Antonov from the other side of the airport like on the other side, from the other side of the road, I can't take a picture of the airplane because that area is a security zone. Like, how? And at the time I was confused, like what exactly is the security zone supposed to mean? It's, it's so hard, there's no clear cut explanation. Now, the whole security zone is a blanket term that gets used and if i am not interested in what you're doing it's a security zone you have to leave i think this is an interesting hobby that there shouldn't be that much difficulty in trying to do this and i've heard from other people on the day i was arrested i was approached by somebody who was passing by and the person was like yeah i do this thing too but anytime i try to stand anywhere that i can get a good view I am like approached and they tell me to stop. I'm like, so where should we stand? Now, you can stand at different places. I have tried standing at different places. I've been to the underbridge side. I've been to, um, the, the, there's another side to on the, I think Airport Hills Road. There's a runabout there. There's a, a nice angle over there. Over there too, it's, within security zone so you will be approached if anybody saw you trying to take a picture of the airplanes on the tarmac or taking off or landing if you come to the action chapel site too that is also within the security zone over there too there's not much line of sight to the airplanes because of the trees around uh, it's it's and sometimes even the billboards you can't get a continuous shot i was able to get pictures standing at the underbridge side um, able to get pictures and whatnot. On the motorway to over there, ideally I could have gotten some shots, but there are also trees around and if you are on the ground, it's very hard to get a continuous like line of sight to the planes to record a video. And so one of the good places to be is within the restricted zone, but not even close to the airport. Or where I stood that I got arrested that was a perfect spot what is the solution i do not know i don't think if people are able to pass there if people are able to farm if people are um, animals are able to graze in that area and you know pedestrians can pass there it's just normal for people to then be able to stand there to take a picture and video of the planes coming to land other countries have dedicated areas for even a media team or even the ordinary people who want to come around and then capture it. Some countries do have that, but in Ghana, I don't think that is something possible. But the current available places to are all being marked as danger zones, restricted zones which makes it hard to try to capture these things. There are many people who are interested in doing this, but from their own words, they are like, they get harassed anytime they try to stand anywhere close to the airport to try to get shots of airplanes landing. 
and some do it quickly they are in their car they are timing on their app to see when the plane is coming immediately it pops up they get out take a picture quickly sit back in their car that doesn't seem like a healthy way to go about this plane sporting. We are not dangerous people. We are just trying to get good shots of airplanes coming to land and take off. And that's pretty much it. We document some of these things. It's fun. It's a hobby. We enjoy it. And in Ghana, it feels like many remarks coming out seems like it's, it's an abomination to try to take a picture of an airplane. In any case, that's, that's been my story when it comes to getting arrested and whatnot. These are some of my thoughts about it. I, I don't know what the solution is. I currently, I do not live in Accra and so I don't get the chance to go to the, to do the plane spotting all the time. But the times I have tried doing it, I am considered to be a bad guy and get arrested for absolutely doing nothing unusual. Just walking in a place that everybody is and um, just taking pictures and videos of an airline. If you've had similar experiences, you can let me know in the comment section below. If you also do plane sporting, you know, trying to hide, hide yourself, let me know in the comment section below and uh, how you're able to get your shots and what your experience has been so far. Thanks for joining me in this one and hope to talk to you in the next. Bye.